Anger must be a very beautiful thing because so many people have taken to it. It's like Coca-Cola <laughs> There is substantial scientific evidence to show us today that if you remain angry for five minutes, you're literally poisoning yourself. Anger, resentment, hatred, jealousy, these are all poisons that you drink and you expect somebody else to die. Life does not work that way. You are drinking this poison because your life is an unconscious reaction to everything that happens around you. If you are a conscious response to every situation that occurs around you, you would be out of rage. If you are in rage, small things may happen your way. But if you are out of rage, the universe will work for you. So right now, you know well that you want to be peaceful, but somebody else is doing something. What are they doing? They know what… what they know best. They're abusing you. Why are they doing it? Because that's all they know. They should know. That is what… that is how they know their life, that's why they're doing it. If you become resentful and you think something will happen to them, see these are things. Anger, resentment, hatred, these are all poisons that you drink and you expect somebody else to die. No, life doesn't work like that. You drink poison, you die. It's a very fair life. <laughs> if you drink poison, you die. Very fair, isn't it so? I drink poison and you die, is it fair? So, people who are in anger, resentment, hatred, this is their thing. They are drinking poison. When I say poison, I am not saying in a moral sense. There is substantial medical evidence right now that we can show you with a blood test that five minutes before you take your blood test right now, five minutes you may remain in extreme anger and take your blood test, you will see you are chemically poisoned actually. You think anger is an entity, anger is not an entity, you become angry. You become angry. Anger is not sitting somewhere and you go hit it. There is no such thing. You become angry. When you become angry, is it pleasant for you or unpleasant for you? Unpleasant for you. Unpleasant for others for sure, unpleasant for yourself also. So, why would you want to poison yourself? It is not a conscious act. You are poisoning yourself, you are causing unpleasantness to yourself only because your mind is not taking instructions from you, isn't it? It is not taking instructions from you. If it was taking instructions from you, you would have said blissfulness, isn't it? See, around us so many people will do so many things that we don't like. Yes or no? So many things in Mumbai happening, things that we don't like are everyday happening. But at least within you, only what you want should happen within this, isn't it? Huh? I cannot decide that only what I want should happen with you, but I can definitely decide only what I want must happen within me, isn't it? If you could decide only what you want should happen within you, would you choose anger or joy? What's your choice? Please choose, I'm going to bless you. Tch. See, you want the highest level of pleasantness for yourself, isn't it? Then why is such a thing not happening? As I said earlier, you never read the user's manual. When you are angry, you might have feelings anywhere from a slight irritation to rage. When that happens, try this. Breathe deeply from your diaphragm. Give yourself a pep talk. Slowly repeat a calm word or phrase such as relax or take it easy. Repeat it to yourself while breathing deeply until the anger subsides. After that, express yourself clearly and calmly. The 
if you hold your anger inside it can lead to passive aggressive behavior like getting back at people without telling them why or being critical and hostile knowing how to recognize and express these feelings in appropriate ways can help you handle emergencies solve problems and hold on to meaningful relationships but you can learn to manage it better when it gets out of control and turns destructive it can lead to problems problems at work in your personal relationships and in the overall quality of your life and it can make you feel as though you are at the mercy of an unpredictable and powerful emotion increased blood pressure and other physical changes associated with anger make it difficult to think straight and harm your physical and mental health 